Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey. One. Good vibrations. I'm going to ask you a question, so I'm going to leave comments open. This question was posed by a viewer in a video on a different topic. Uh, I, I don't even remember the topic now, but it was not related to ham radio. I had left comments open, and uh, I guess he took that opportunity to ask me this question. Um, he expected he might get replies on that video's comment section, but that's rather doubtful, seeing as it's uh, off-topic and seeing as that... Uh, most people don't read all the way through the comments on videos, at least I don't. So I'm going to ask you this question for him, at least as best I understand it. What you're looking at here is a, just an example of a trap dipole antenna fed with coaxial cable, a ballon coil at the center, 33 feet on either side a dipole antenna so it would be resonant at 40 meters this section right here then traps right here identical parallel resonant circuit traps such that if you add 20 feet more of wire on either side you get an, a resonance frequency in the 80 meter band so in fact this particular example shows a 40 meter and 80 meter two band antenna a trap dipole for two bands 40 and 80 meters now these traps uh, have a certain Q factor that generally depends on how much reactance and how much and that's the total net reactance uh, divided by the resistance and the resistance is the key here the lower the resistance of this uh, trap that is the less loss that it has the higher the Q factor the more selective it will be and he wants this Q factor to be as high as possible so naturally it would make sense to use the lowest loss inductor and capacitor that you can get your hands on resonant at a frequency of 7 megahertz. So that would be the resonant frequency or on the 40 meter band in any case. So that this trap will not pass 7 megahertz signals but will essentially pass all lower frequencies and when you combine the inductance and the 53 foot sides of the dipole uh, you get by trial and error you will find values that will give you a 3.5 megahertz resonant frequency or in the 80 meter band so it's a two band trap dipole antenna now his question is does the Q factor depend on the transmitter power or on whether you are using the antenna for receiving or for transmitting? Now my answer according to the theory that I'm, a, um, that I'm familiar with, the answer would be no, the Q factor should be the same, should not change, between receive and transmit, nor should it change with how much power you use at the transmitter, provided that the transmitter power remains low enough so as not to heat up either of these components, particularly the inductors. Because if that happens, their resistance will increase, their efficiency will decrease, and presumably because the resistance of the coil increases as the wire in the coil gets hot, the Q factor would go down. So 
the assumption here is that we don't run enough transmitter power to make this coil either coil appreciably heat up and we also make the assumption that the ballon is a one-to-one -one ballon properly configured and with a low enough loss so that it will not heat up either so you don't want any efficiency degradation on account of heating up Will the Q factor be any different for transmitting than for receiving under such circumstances? And my answer was no, I didn't think so. But I don't know because I've never actually conducted an experiment with an antenna noise bridge or any other. Uh, I've never actually built one of these things and tested it with, with the appropriate equipment. So my question to you is, have any of you ever done this with antenna traps and do you know whether the Q factor uh, of a trap varies with the amount of power uh, with the amount of current or with the amount of voltage across it or current through it does that vary between receive and transmit or with transmitter power provided that nothing heats up um, meaning that you just be running too much transmitter power. If anyone has done any experiments, um, I think he would very much appreciate your answer, and I'd find it quite interesting, because although I think not, I don't know, because I haven't actually seen it. And if I've learned anything of late about the world in general, it is not to believe anything until I actually witness it with my own eyes, ears, and brain. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, which means best regards, and with any antenna, trapped or not, lossy or not, receiving or transmitting, so long, which translates in my native fist to de-de-de-da-de-da. De, 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 de.